Hello, hello, hello. It is Dr. Naisha Cherry, your mind and body coach, yoga instructor, fitness instructor, and personal trainer. Today I want to wanted to come on and talk to you guys about gratitude because I am, like I said before, a mind and body coach and I help women declutter emotions so they can focus on their physical health. So one thing or one way that you can do that is by focusing on gratitude. So psychology today defines gratitude as follows. Gratitude is the expression of appreciation for what one has. It is a recognition of value independent of monetary worth. So that's super, super important because that means you can be grateful for things that didn't cost anybody anything, right? And we have so many things like that in our lives. So it is not just about knowing that you're grateful because we can always say, you know, oh, I'm grateful for so-and-so. I'm grateful for this person. I'm grateful for that. It's about feeling it. So you want to feel that gratitude deep down inside in your heart, in your mind, and in your soul. Hi, Tracy. Thanks for watching. So make sure that you are feeling gratitude and acknowledging it and all of those things on a regular basis. So I saw some research that said people who are grateful are less likely to have mental problems like depression, which is key right now with all of the things that are going on in our world. Also, one study showed that spending a few minutes engaging in gratitude activities, such as walk, writing a letter to a loved one, can motivate you to make healthy food choices. Now, how deep is that? That blew my mind. I'm like, oh, snap. Like, let me add that into my gratitude practice so I can make healthy food choices all day, every single day. <laughs> oh, my. So, that's super big, y'all. So feeling and expressing gratitude turns our mental focus to positive, right? And this can come in handy because our mindset, our brain is programmed to focus on negativity. We focus on worries, on threats, anything that's negative that's going on in our life. So we have to train our brain to focus on the positive. One way we can do that is by being grateful, right? Practicing gratitude often. So practicing gratitude leads to emotions like contentment joy, love, right? And those help us to fight against anxiety and to fight against depression, which is super duper important. Like I said, especially now because so many of us are dealing with that. Many more people are dealing with being anxious or being depressed or feeling, you know, all kind of sadness and just all things negative because of COVID. So, to help combat that, figure out what you're grateful for. Find those things. Show gratitude, not just mentally, but also feel it emotionally. All right, so we should not just practice gratitude once a day or once every other day. We need to practice gratitude throughout the day. Remember, we need to train our brains. These are years of negative thinking that we have to combat. So we can't just say, oh, it's a one and done. I'm grateful for food. Yay, boom, moving on. We can't do that. Like We have to practice gratitude all day every day for each and every little thing because we want to program our brain to focus on the positive so how can you express gratitude daily i have several ideas one you can include gratitude in your morning routine which is what i do um write down three things that you're grateful for or more i normally do more but write down at least three things that you're grateful for every single day number two show gratitude for every meal that you're eating i do that as well right so you can be grateful for not just having the food in front of you on your plate, but have, and, or not just for who cooked it, but also be grateful for who transported it. Be grateful for who went out and picked the vegetables, who slaughtered the meat, all those things. Be grateful holistically. Number three, be grateful for every person who helped you. That's something else I practice, you know, saying thank you. I appreciate you helping me to plan this event. I appreciate you helping me by delivering my groceries, like whatever. Just be grateful for every person that has helped you. Number four, take a walk outside in nature and feel grateful for all the beauty that God has blessed us with. Be grateful for the sunshine. Be grateful for the grass, the trees, the flowers, whatever, right? Just be grateful for all that there is. Number five, be present. When you're present, you're able to show gratitude in the here and now. Number six, practice gratitude for the simple things in life. It's so much stuff all around us that we can be grateful for, y'all. Be grateful. 
Number seven, include gratitude in your evening routine. So before you go to bed, practice your gratitude. Maybe pray during that time and say, you know, Lord, thank you for, and you list out all the things you're grateful for. Or maybe you pull out that gratitude journal again and write three more things that you're grateful for. Number nine, celebrate your wins big, or eight, celebrate your wins big and small. So remember, it doesn't have to be a huge success for you to celebrate. You want to celebrate the small wins because the small wins are what lead you to the big wins. And number nine, find the good in every situation, y'all. It's something that can come out of every situation. You can learn from every situation there is, no matter how bad it may be for you. You can learn something about yourself or about others. So make sure that whatever the situation is, that you are learning from it and that you are taking what you learned to make things better. Remember, all good, all things work for the good of those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So make sure that you are practicing gratitude every day throughout the day. And it will help you have a more positive outlook on life. No more defaulting to negativity, default to the positive. And you got this. All right, y'all, be grateful. And let me know what you're grateful for or let me know something that you're going to implement to practice more gratitude in your life. All right, y'all, see y'all next time. Bye. Thank you.